So, apparently a lot of people hate this race because it's annoying. So you have no good race towers, and it's only 39 rounds. Look at this. 2-2-2 two, two, two of these towers that you normally don't see in your races. Uh, my current time is only 28th. I'm not sure it's good enough for a top 50, because even with one day left, generally it squeezes very hard. Yeah, top 50, I'm only really 3 seconds up, uh, above. So they could easily close that gap within a day or so. So I'm going to give a few attempts. Not too many. But I'm going to try to push it down like another two seconds. That should guarantee a good, good, good time. So here's how I'm going to start. Um, the same way everybody does, by copying a YouTube video. So let's go to round five. So basically, we try to afford a 2 2 zero and then spam it. Round seven. And we have to take lives, nothing we can do about it. Round 10. It's a very slow race, yeah. It's very anti... Anti-fast. You just have to tank leaks one bloom at a time. You can't send more than five rounds at once. It's very weird, but... I don't mind it, really. This is my desire, it's, it might be weird to say. I don't mind this kind of race once in a while. At least not Maelstrom or Ground Zero. We've seen that way too many times. Round 17 goes out when I get this glaive. Maybe even before then? Yeah. 17. Uh-oh. We're getting dangerously low on lives. 20. In the teens? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I better be able to defend this. 14. Okay, this is very scary. 23, 24, 25. I gotta go faster, okay. We're minus 6 seconds, that's good. Now I need to get lead popping. Lead, uh-oh. Is that, is that death? Oh, god. I need to get a dart monkey to save me. This sucks, this sucks. This is against what I'm supposed to do. Alright. Small detour, sadly. But I'm gonna get two 202 boomerangs, okay? For the leads. Wait, I missed one. Well, GG. I don't know how, but I missed one. Yeah, that's game. This race is basically finding the right angle for boomerangs. So it can be very satisfying, but also very annoying when it doesn't work. So basically, every run's gonna go down to like the wire in lives. I'm always going to end with like zero lives, pretty much. This is looking like a decent run. Yeah, we're defending the regrow yellow very nicely. I don't know about you, but I feel like this is the run. This is the run, folks. I feel it. In the bones. In the air. In the marrow. Everywhere I feel it. Now... Let's defend leads, hopefully. 28 now. Please get all leads. If I don't, I lose. Good. 30. Come on. Get him. Now I go for... Uh, um, 33. 34. I want to get cow drops early, actually. Cow drops. 35. Okay, minus 4 seconds. That's really good. Is that too much, though? Is that too much? No. This is where shit hits the fan, guys. 36. 37 now. Screw it. Go, go, go. We good? Yes. I'll send at 234. 39. Are we good? Please defend, please defend, please defend. Left hand. Nice, we defend. Okay, okay. So now what I'm going to do for the ending. For the ending. I need to clean up very well. So 37 has camel whites. And 39. Here's what I'm going to try to do if I don't die. Do I have to do this? Fine. I want to get a counter espionage. Yeah, seriously. I'm going to try something weird. I'm just going to spam boomerangs now. 202s. Two Sniper. Strong, 101. 
Two zero two, come on. Uh how we doing? How we doing? Thirty-four. Hey, we did it. Nice. Three fourteen seventy. So even then, that's not perfect clean up. Um, I don't know what the hell was going on at the end, honestly. I was just kind of praying to RNG Jesus that um, we were gonna kill the rainbows and the camo fast enough. I don't know what popped last, the camo or thirty-nine. But either way, I think that's safe enough for top fifty. So with that, I'm gonna call it. Yep. I don't want any more of this race. It's a nice breath of fresh air, fresh air, but I'm not gonna play it 20 times over. I can't hit it. Is it's camo, right? <laughs> yeah. It's always all camo. Definitely the first time I've ever seen this challenge. But actually, first time I've seen this challenge on Infernal. Infernal 76, all cam grow. Um, first off, we always have to look. What is the camo? What is the camo? There is Ice Tower, 4th tier. There is Bomb Blitz, but I can't get lives. There is Sub Commander. There is Pop and Awe. There is Wizard. That's the camo. It's literally given. There is Ninja. So there's actually quite a few camos. Not all non-camo. So it's only two towers. No selling. That's the big thing. So probably not Arcane then. Let me just see, can I get these abilities in time? Again, probably not, because their cooldown is long AF. Long AF, yep. So there is embrittlement, but there's no placement that will get them at once. Oh, there's a first strike. Probably again, not the answer. Let me just see. How close do I get? Damn, it's far off. I really wish there was a placement that would decamel all of them. Let me just verify this misses a lot. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm just memeing. I'm definitely not seriously trying this. Um, there's Infernal Ring, but has one pierce, right? So no no chance. Hell yeah. One damage at a time. I can out buff it to pop two at a time. But yeah. You can tell where well, that's gonna go. Purple through Arcane Spike. That's just so bad. Uh, zero chance, zero chance. I'm just like... I'm stuck, so that's what happens when I'm stuck. I try towers that I know it will work. Ninja Distraction into... What tower? I guess I can't tell. So this is a pretty good distraction, but does it get all of them? What do I do? Like, it's the first strike? Let's see. Oh, I'll get this too. I don't know why. That would do anything? No. Hmm, I wonder if I can do anything with Distraction. Probably not, because it's only tier 4. Like, if I had Grandmaster, then maybe. Slowly. Oh, Glaive Lord! Why'd I, why'd I cross off uh, Boomerang? There's Glaive Lord, but. Would, what would Glaive Lord do? Only the blades do damage. Would it be here? And. Uh, what? Alpuff? I'm not sure if Alpuff affects the Glaives, but. I forgot that at Camo. Wait, is that the answer? It's kind of close. Dang it. I'm just assuming right now, uh, Alpuff affects the Spinning Glaives. Can anybody, um, confirm? Do the Spinning Glaives get Alpuffed? Oh, the timing was off, I noticed. There was no Alpuff when the Bloons were in range of the, um, Boomerang. I need to do this. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Now? I believe the blades get up off. They do. They do. We almost won there. So it's Glaive Lord. I don't know how I skipped over Glaive Lord for camo, but I did. All right, here's another idea. Let's not buy AMD because let me just try something. If I start with this, did you see there? The AMD wore off because the spinning glaives used the AMD up. Funny. So what what I would do was not buy AMD. Until it's close to the um, range of the boomerang. So watch this. Win. Win, win, win. Ah, that was worse. 5 zero, 2 makes the glaive stronger. Oh, is that why? Oh, the range too. I don't know. Maybe the range. Uh, let's do this now. Range does matter. Yeah. Did you see we just instantly one-shot the rams? 
So yes, cross battling matters. 502. And we'll upgrade this mid round. So. Now. Win? Eh, not quite. Let me just try bottom path for some reason. For some unknown reason, we're trying it. Done. Did the buff wear off, and that's why the attack speed mattered? Uh, give it a like, I guess. I, I cannot believe I did not see Glavelor, though. Apparently that was not intended. Um, yeah, sure, I'd like to know the intended solution. Intended was Glavelor on the flagship. Okay, okay, that makes more sense. So, uh, not flagship for, for damage. You use the flagship for the, the good range. But the out buff also gives you good range. So, take that.